Hey everyone, in today's video, we're going to learn how we can on demand call a Power Automate flow from an Excel. So if you are interested in this topic, stay tuned. Hello everyone, I'm Deepak Shavastav. Welcome to my channel. So why we need to trigger a flow from an Excel? Let's take an example. So this is a sample Excel that has the data related to product sales across different country and segment. Okay. Right now I have around 700 rows in this Excel. Let's say I want to start approval process on a given row if the profit is less than $10,000. Okay, so that's my requirement. Now you can have a, some similar requirement. Okay, so in my case, I'm just want to start an approval process whenever the profit is less than 10,000. So to request a approval, how I can do that. So at the top, there is a button called flow, and I'll show you how you can get that flow button in your Excel. So now, because I have this option available here, once I click on that, it actually going to open a flow experience screen on the right hand side of this Excel. And if I have a flow that is already created for this Excel, I can see here. And I already have a flow called initiate approval request that I have already linked to this Excel. Okay, so now if I need to initiate approval process for a given row, the only thing I need to do, I need to select that row. So you can have more than one flow associated with this one Excel. Right now I have one. So I click on initiate approval request and I click run, right? Now it's gonna ask some predefined parameter that I have set up in my flow. So it's asking me who is the approver. I'm going to set it to myself, the message, okay? Then I can also associate a supporting file. So I want approval on this particular data or the row and I'm supporting some file that may be triggering this profit less than 10,000. So let me associate one file here. Okay. And the only thing I need to do, click run flow. And that's it. Now what happened behind the scene, let me show you. Okay. So now I'm in my teams. Okay. And what I did, I use the approval flow to send a notification to the teams. So if I go to the activity, I have a request here for the approval. And you can see here, this is the information that I'm sending and it is asking me for my approval. If I log into flow and if I go to the action item, then you can see here, just now I have received this request. I can open that request and see all the information including the file that I have attached to it. I can take an action from here or from here. So let's say I'm going to approve this one. Okay, it's approved. Let me go back to the Excel and you notice here. So status has been changed to approve. So this is what I was talking about on demand, initiating a flow from Excel and then performing some actions. Okay, so let's start how you can have all these features step by step. So first thing that we need, we need this flow add-in. So what this is, so Microsoft has a add-in of flow for Excel. So to get this add-in, what you need to do, you need to click on the insert, get add-ins, and then from the store, search for Microsoft. Okay, and this is the add-in that you got, Microsoft Flow for Excel. Click Add, and as soon as you do that, under Data, under Data, you should be able to see this flow. Okay, so this is the step one that you need to do. Get that flow add-in ready in Excel, and then we're gonna start creating our Excel file, and then creating the flow. So I'm gonna cancel this one, and let me log into my OneDrive where I'm going to store the Excel on which I want to create the flow. 
So I've created this folder in my OneDrive and I have this Excel. So let me open this Excel real quick. The data is very similar what you have seen. So I have an ID column that I'm going to use as a key for this Excel. So each row has a unique identifier. The next thing you need to do, you need to open this in desktop app. Okay, so the file is now open in the desktop app. Click on the data. You should have add-in ready to go. Click on that. As soon as you click, it will open the flow experience on the right hand side. Now, if you see here, it's saying uh, there is no flow for this Excel and that is correct. So now you have two options to create a flow. You can create a flow from here, like from this small window. There's a lot of templates are available. You can pick from them or you can start creating new one like we generally do. Or the second option, you can go to the flow.microsoft.com and create this flow from there and link that flow to this Excel. And once you're done with the flow, you can come back, refresh this screen and you will start seeing your flow here. Okay, so I log into flow.microsoft.com, click on create. Okay, select automated flow and we are going to skip everything from here. Once we go to the flow screen, then search for Excel, Excel online for business. And this is the trigger that we are going to use for a selected row. So as you can see, this flow can run for a selected row in Excel. So whenever I want to run a flow on Excel, this is the trigger that I have to use. Select that. As soon as you select, it's going to ask the location and the file on which you want to run this flow for. So my, my file is in OneDrive. The document library is going to be OneDrive. Now, of course, you can save your file into SharePoint as well. Flow example, and this is the file on which I like to create this flow. The table, the data table, okay? So that part is done, the trigger is good. Now the next step. Now the very important point here, add a compose action on the input. If you notice here, all these fields or the column that I have in my Excel are listed here. Whatever column you want to use in this flow, so in our case, we are going to create an approval flow. So I want to send some information from Excel to the approver. Add a compose action and select whatever field you like to use in this flow. If you don't select any field, the flow will not query that information from the Excel. So it will be null or empty. Okay. So let's say in my case, I want ID, segment, country, product, unit sold, price, sales price, profit, and date. Okay, so I want to query these fields from the selected row. Very important step. Now the next step, I'm going to use the approval. Okay, start and wait for an approval the title, and then I'm going to select the segment. Okay, assign to. So for assign to, what you can do in this trigger what you can create you can create your own custom input not need to if your excel already have the information that you like to use you can just query like i'm doing in these actions here in our case i'm going to just use an email and i'm going to call it approver and another completely optional you don't need to create custom input so now assigned to is going to be my approver email and in details, I'm going to pass the message, okay? And now what you can also do, you can update the same Excel with the outcome of this approval. So I'm going to use Excel online, update a row. Again, provide the same information that we have provided on the top. File is going to be the file we are working. Key column, as I said, I have created this ID column that is unique for each row and you definitely need one column that is unique for each row if you want to update. If you don't want to update, that's completely optional. And the value is going to be the ID that we are getting from Excel, okay? And what we are updating, we are updating this status column with the outcome. Click Save. I'm also going to rename this. Okay, now let me open the OneDrive. Open the Excel, open in desktop. Okay, so Excel is open. I'm going to the data tab, flow. And now you should see the flow that you just created here because you created a flow for this Excel. Okay, so yeah, our flow is listed here. 
let's select one of the row. So I'm going to select the 101, go to the approval flow, click run. Now, if you don't select, you cannot run. So you have to select one row. Click run. It's going to ask the input parameter that we have set up. If you're running this first time, it's going to ask you to uh, create this con these connections. So click continue. Now it's going to ask the email. Click run flow. Done. Let's go back to our flow. Okay. So as you can see here, I'm getting the information that I requested. You can see here all the information here. And then it's waiting for approval. So let me go to the Teams now. The approval action also send a message in the Teams. So you can see here, this is the re recent one. It's saying, please review. This is the information that I have passed. This was the message that I have. And now I can approve reject. Also, if I go to the flow and if I go to the approvals here, I should see the same information also listed here, as you can see here. Okay, so let me approve this. And I'll go back to my Excel. And as you can see here, 101 is approved. So this is how you can run this flow from Excel and on demand request for an approval. Now the question, do I need to open this in desktop? No. So what you can do, the same way we added the add-in for the desktop, you can also do the same thing by going to insert office add-in and add the Microsoft Flow add in here in the Excel online. And once you go to the data, you should see that option here as well. So now I'm in Excel online. I can click on the flow and do the same thing. I can select a particular row and start my approval flow here. Click run, provide the information that needed. If I go back here, I should receive a new message. As you can see here, just now I got it. And this time I'm going to reject this. And you can also perform these from the approval app in the flow as well. Go back here and see what happened to over 106. It's rejected, correct? Perfect, awesome. So the next question, can I run this on multiple rows together? Yes, you can. You need to select the multiple rows. Now remember one thing, for example, if I'm selecting 13, 14 and 16, right? So I'm not getting the run option because you need to select them as a continuous rows. So now I'm seeing the run button. But in my case, I don't want to run this on all these items where profit is more than $10,000. So how I can avoid that? So only thing very simple. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sort them, correct? So I'm just shorting them, uh, sorting the profit column, okay? And now what I can do, I can select. So I selected these 10 row. So I'm gonna start this flow for 10 items altogether. And remember one thing, it's not going to create one flow for 10 item. It's actually going to initiate 10 flow, so 10 approval request. Click run flow. Let me quickly go to the teams so you can see those messages. Look at this, so all 10 messages came instantly. Okay, now I can go one by one and take the action that I need to take. Okay, and the last thing that I like to show you guys, if I go back to my flow, you remember in my demo, I had that file option. Let's say I also want to enable the feature so that a requester can also upload file, right? So how we can do that. So let me go here, create a file object, and I'm gonna just call it file. Okay, let me save it, and let me run it for one item quickly. So I'll show you how you can get the file data and the name. So go to the flow, run. It should ask you the file also this time. So I'm gonna send it to myself. Click run flow, done. Go back to your flow. If you open the, the trigger, and if you look at the structure here, so this is the email that coming in from the requester. Then we have a text, that's the second property, that's the message. And then we have this file underscore one. So file underscore one is our file type input that we have created. And then we have the name. So to get the name, because we definitely need the name for the attachment, you need to say whatever response I'm getting from this trigger condition, file underscore one and the name. That's what going to be the name of the file. So I'm going to quickly edit this file, go to start and wait for approval. 
and the attachment name go to the expression okay so this is going to be the expression trigger body that's this one or selected row file underscore one name okay so this will give you the name of the file click okay attachment is just the file click save and now if you just refresh this flow again and run it for a particular row okay click on the run flow now and this time if i go back to my approval action here and this is the recent one open that and you have your file i can download this file and work on it right so my file is here it was a sample html the only difference is if you are attaching a file in this uh, the team approval you won't be able to see that so you have to go to the flow approval or you can send an email okay so yeah so this is all i had for today i hope that this will help you in scenario like where you need to run the flow only for uh, given conditions and control that when you want to run the flow and request for approval so any other action thanks for listening and thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe keep learning